Hi friends, I want to share with you some of the things that I've been doing lately. I've been visiting this place that has cheese and chocolate fondues and it's so good, especially when it's a little cold outside. This time we ordered this loaded potato cheese fondue and it's made right in front of you. I got some video where they were making it and it's definitely an experience. This one's my favorite too. This is so yummy. We also got a chocolate fondue and this one is one of our favorites. It's dark and white chocolate and all the dippers are so yummy. I wish I was eating one right now. I needed to get new jeans so I went to my favorite store, Target. I'm going to show you what I bought and how it looks on me and hopefully you find it helpful. Universal Threads is one of my favorite brands from Target. I had different pieces from this brand and they have lasted a long time for me. I really like the quality, the styles and prices. I saw these jeans and I didn't think they would look good on me until I tried them on. I like that they are stretchy, making them super comfortable to wear and I like that the fit is not as tight as skinny jeans. I've been wanting a maxi skirt like this one for a long time and even though they are trendy right now, this skirt is a classic piece and it can be worn any time of the year. I like the light color and how it looks on me. I love wearing jumpsuits, they are so easy and comfortable to wear. This cream color is beautiful and I love the linen fabric. This is definitely going to be perfect for summertime. I'm really happy with my purchases from Target, but let me know in the comments what was your favorite. Spring is my favorite season and I've been enjoying my time outside as much as possible. So I decided to make a watercolor painting of this iconic scene from my city. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I love my Art Toolkit palette. I recently updated it with new Daniel Smith watercolor paint and it makes me so happy and excited to go outside and paint. It's just the little things.
It was getting dark and sometimes some paintings take me longer than others. So I will usually finish them at home and go over the details that I couldn't finish at the spot. To go over the lines, I'm going to be using a micro pen and for all the white details, a Posca marker. I really enjoyed making this video and I really hope you enjoyed it as well. Let me know what was your favorite part of this video in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos that I upload every week. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.